All right, so everybody's losing their freaking minds because Bing just went on ahead and integrated the ChatGPT into their search engine. So I asked ChatGPT themselves, will Google survive this? And I'm going to show you the Bing new search engine update using ChatGPT. It says Google can survive this integration by continuing to improve their search algorithms, offering unique and valuable services, expanding into new markets, blah, blah, blah. So even ChatGPT themselves think that Google can survive and you can just click on more. Why? Because Google has certain advantages, certain things that Bing does not have. But it is powerful now that ChatGPT is blended with it. So let's come over here and try out the new search engine from Bing.com using ChatGPT. Okay, so if you come to Bing.com, you'll see right here, you click on that right there, the chat, it'll bring you over here, it'll tell you to join a wait list because it's not available yet. Okay, so we'll go back so that we can try it out, though. It will allow you to try it out. So this is what you want to do. It says introducing the new Bing baby. Okay, they weren't playing. They spent money. It says I need to throw a dinner party for six people who are vegetarian. Can you suggest a three course menu with a chocolate dessert? You can choose that one or you can choose this one. I am planning a trip for our anniversary in September. Let's see how this goes. All right. What are some places we can go to that are a three hour flight from London Heathrow? OK, so we're going to try it. Boom. So as you can see over here, it still gives you the search results. And then over here, similar to chat GPT, you can see it actually scheduling out a trip for you. What, what did it say? Three days or something like that. It's telling you congratulations on your anniversary. There are so many places you can go uh, within the three hour flight from London. Here are some suggestions based on your preferences. Blah, blah, blah. If you like beaches and sunshine, you can go to Malaga in Spain. If you like the mountains, you can go to Annecy in France. If you like art and, art and history, you can go to Florence, Italy. And if you like culture and nightlife, go to Berlin, baby. OK, so it's cool, man. So it's kind of cool. Got the chat GPT feature over here. Plus, it still gives you the regular search engine results over here to this part. You probably don't really care about because you can get from Google. But one thing Google does not have is this app implemented. But they did just uh, release something called Bard. OK, so we'll probably talk about that. OK, but then you can just copy this just like you can copy it over there in chat GPT. So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Do you think this new uh, search feature over here on, you know, Bing with chat GPT blended is going to be a competitor uh, with Google? You know, do you think Google has something up their sleeves? Do you think Google is dead? What everybody else is talking about? Or do you think this is just a, a drop in the dang on ocean compared to what Google can do? Let me know in the chat.